stock summary report this is one of the most important reports or features of paid puja inventory it shows you the entire movement of a particular raw material in multiple zones and in the end it will give you the amount of loss incurred on that particular raw material this video is going to be a little bit technical first i'll show you the report and its functions in the second part i'll be explaining you the column headings and the meanings and in the third part we'll see the formulas of that report after the formulas i'll also show you the ways how you can ascertain the loss amount in multiple ways in paid puja inventory let us start to begin you have to log on to your owner's dashboard and then go to inventory section under inventory you will find the reports column where stock summary will be visible when you will reach this page something like this will appear let us first filter out the report by the date range you can also apply filters on the basis of raw materials or categories of raw materials the unit types that you want to see the report in whether it should be the purchase unit or the consumption unit you can input as per your preference if you like to export this report you can click on export all and an excel file containing all the information will be generated like so if you want to export the current page in the form of a pdf the only difference this report will have is that it will contain the amount which is the reconciliation amount so that you know exactly what was the loss incurred by you in that particular time period along with all the other details and also the reconciliation price and amount for separate raw materials as well if i click on export all to pdf a pdf containing information of all the pages will be generated now the first report now the export current page to pdf report will only export the current page but export all to pdf report will export all the pages now we'll start understanding the reports column headings so the first heading is for the category of raw material whether the raw material is of hygiene category or the groceries category the second column heading is for the item name you can click on the headings to sort them by their ascending or descending orders the third column heading is for the opening store whenever the restaurant opened their operations or started their operation for the particular day this particular amount of stock was its opening stock which means that they had this much amount of raw materials present with them as displayed this is the opening stock for this particular period from that opening stock all the purchases and sales return done for that particular raw material will be displayed in this column after the purchases and sales return comes the column of excess of raw material we will discuss this column later on total stock a plus b plus c will also be discussed in formula section now we move on to the stock consume part pet puja inventory works on two principles the first being auto consumption and the second being sales and purchase entries posted now the auto consumption feature is essentially where a recipe is formed and the raw materials mentioned inside the item recipe will be reduced automatically whenever the bill is punched for that particular item then comes the wastage section during all this process if anything is posted into wastage it will be directly converted to loss or if any raw material got expired you can go to expired reports and add them to wastage after wastage there is normal loss we'll take the example the first one being yield consumption let us take an example of a mango where we have purchased 5 kg of mango from these 5 kg after removing the peels and the seeds we are left with 3 kg of mango pulp this is known as yield consumption 
inside paid puja system we call it normal loss percentage after normal loss all the sales of raw material or internal transfers of raw material or purchase returns of raw materials will be posted here in the consolidated form which means if my outlet sells raw material to another outlet or another supplier then it will be included here if my outlet and its sister branch has transferred stock internally or the central kitchen has transferred stock to my outlet it will also be listed here and the purchase return in case i have made any purchases and they are returned back they will be also mentioned here then comes the column heading of shortage of raw material we'll also understand this later on effect due to conversion whenever a semi finished good conversion takes place first we'll understand semi finished good with the help of this animation semi finished goods here essentially we will be combining multiple ingredients and processing them to turn it into a semi finished good so from the mango pulp if we put in sugar and milk and blend it together to make a mango puree we will be calling this as a semi finished good inside the system we call this convert raw material so whenever this conversion took place the original ingredients which were mentioned in the semi finished good recipe will get reduced from the stock as displayed here my idli batter raw material or semi finished good was made from water urad dal salt and rice so as seen in this column all these raw materials in, are in minus quantity which led to the creation of idli batter which is in plus quantity so the conversion took place and the raw material effects were applied in pet puja inventory then comes total stock consumed we'll discuss this in the last section of formulas and there is net stock system which will also be discussed in the formulas section now we'll understand the excess of raw material and the shortage of raw material so whenever closing stock was inputted into the system if the closing stock had more raw materials in comparison to the opening stock or in comparison to this total stock consumed then it would be written down in this format which means that salt was found in excess on this particular date if the opening stock was this the consumption stock was this and while putting the closing entry the physical stock was found to be lesser than the consumed stock then that amount will be displayed in the shortage of raw material section as seen here rice was found in shortage now this was the comparison of ideal consumption and the actual physical consumption which is monitored by the feature of closing stock we have another video made on closing stock now let us understand the other functions of this report as you can see there are some fonts which are in green color in all of those fonts you can click on the name and you can find all the records for that particular raw material as you can see here the modification for that particular raw material is visible in the unit section i can see the purchase sale return details along with its invoice numbers and the outlets with whom the process took place excess of raw materials column i can see the entire logs of excess posted on which date by which user in the stock consumed section i can actually see how was the stock consumed with how many entries then comes the heading of wastage when click on wastage i can see on which date was the wastage registered and what was the price for the same after that normal loss comes where i know on which dates on which invoices how much normal loss was registered then comes the sales internal transfer and purchase return collaboration as you can see in this format all the entries are dissected by the categories and individual entries are also displayed shortage of raw material will essentially tell me on which particular date the raw material was found in shortage the effect due to conversion 
will essentially show me what all conversion effects took place on that raw material whether it was in plus or minus like so and the description will also tell me the reason for which reason was the conversion affected now let us understand the formulas and then i'll explain the last column of difference so as you can see all these three entries which is a b and c are inward entries which means that the stock comes in and as you know for system there are only two types of movements possible one being plus and the other being a minus entry so all these entries are essentially plus entries where the stock actually comes in to the system so the total of these three a plus b plus c is listed here then from the column d to column i you can see all these entries are of minus particularly from column d to column h and the i column has both entries which is minus and plus so all these entries will be covered under outward entries which is the stock essentially leaving the outlet and along with this it is also known as consumption entries which will give us the total of total consumed stock without the i column then there is net stock system we'll also understand net stock system with an animation as you know there are two types of stock one being digital and the one being physical so the digital stock operates on the items sold or sales and purchase entries posted into the software for raw materials now when item sells the raw materials recorded inside the item recipe will be automatically reduced from the inventory so the digital stock is calculated by these formulas and with only digital entries posted into the software and on the other hand the physical stock is actually managed by staff at the restaurant there is a very high possibility that the staff is managing the stock not in the particular manner as it was supposed to be done in accordance to the digital inventory now these physical levels will always be in a little bit of mismatch with the digital inventory so the total of the digital inventory is net stock system which tells me that this particular raw material is supposed to be 11 kilograms now 11 kilograms is essentially the ideal stock that should be present in my inventory that which is the planned amount or planned movement of that particular raw material and then comes net stock calculate column which is the total of the physical movements of good so the ideal and the physical are listed side to side the difference between these two is listed on the right side column whenever you click on any of the difference amount it will show you the entire journey of that particular raw material and show you all the points from which leakage has happened these leakages can burn a hole in your pocket if not taken care of immediately and to track these leakages paid puja inventory is very much necessary if these leakages are in minus it will show you that the stock is actually in loss and if they are in plus then it is found in excess but for us it is some kind of loss whether the recipe is not inputted correctly or there are some unregistered purchase or sales entries which are remaining to be done in our outlet the nearer this difference is to zero the better is the outlet's health so always a keen eye or a close eye on these differences and try to bring them down with all every possible frequency you can also find these differences in the opening closing report with the amounts for a particular period like so or in the consumption report like so so this is all about stock summary report in paid puja inventory 
one thing that you need to take care of will be that this report is different for each of the outlet. So first you have to make sure whether you have reached the right outlet or selected the right outlet and then only you proceed to generate this report. Thank you.